Now, a famous philo uh, philosopher once said, no man can succeed without a good woman behind him, and no man can be truly great without the support of a great mother. Well, we're about to meet a mother and son team. Uh, Robin Wolf and Davy Duplessis are set to depart this weekend, uh, if weather permits, uh, making a history-making adventure across the Atlantic Ocean from Cape Town to Rio de Janeiro in nothing but a pedal boat. Now, I tried to draw that out as much as I could to let it sink in, but I'm sure you guys have now come to terms with the fact that you are about to embrace an incredible challenge. Welcome, guys. Well done for taking this on board. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just list some of the, the firsts and, and some of the serious records you'll be um, toying with. The first human-powered ocean crossing to depart from South African shores. The first team of two to cross the South Atlantic using only human power. The first team of mother and son to pedal across the any ocean, for that matter. This is unbelievable. How are preparations going? What kind of preparation do you do for this? Is, is it an emotional thing between each other? Is it a physical thing to get the body through the, the challenge? Davey, where do you sit? Well, I mean, this has been two years in the making. So now I'm at the point where I'm anxious to go. To the point <laughs> where I've done all my preparation. I think because my mom has just come on recently, she's probably going through what I went through in the beginning. So adjusting with the fears, dealing with the reality that you're going to be alone, prep. I mean, most of the time, at sea <laughs> for four months. Uh, so, I mean, I'm at a point where I just want to go, whereas I think my mom, I don't know how you're feeling. <laughs> my mother's always been supportive, Robin, but she's never opted to go on a 6,500-kilometre journey with me. How are you feeling? Um, you know, when, when the opportunity arose, my younger son was supposed to go with Davy, and when he pulled out because he had a good opportunity overseas, I asked Davy because, you know, I just turned, I just turned 50, and I thought to myself, you know, I mean, is this what life's all about? There's got to be more to life. You know, I'd brought up ch children that brought me a lot of joy. And I wanted to do something for myself and also to empower women because yeah. I work in a field where I work with a lot of women and a lot of single women and a lot of women who are very disempowered. And so I thought I could give a voice to so many women who are trapped, who aren't reliant, and to, you know, do this for them and to show them that anybody could do something, even if you're 50, because... People tell us when you're 50, you've got to It might be the to ideal time to down. do it, you know? It is. Um, you mentioned fears in, and, and grappling with those fears. What are some of your fears? I mean, the, the initial fears I had was to be sitting in a tiny boat in the middle of the ocean. There's no support. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's a bit, uh, it's a bit daunting. But again, it's very difficult to envision what that's like. I mean, you don't know what it's like to have 30-foot walls coming towards you of water. And I think now, I mean, I've... I've Overcome that a bit, but now I feel like if equipment fails, if equipment fails, then we're in big trouble. Well, speaking of which, you've brought uh, a part of that human power. Take me through this little rotor that we're having a look at. So, here. I mean, yeah. this is essentially what powers the whole boat. Yeah. It's just, uh, I suppose that's the best view there. But if you imagine this here is where you sit and you pedal, and that slowly turns the propeller underneath the boat. Then you just got a, a gear system here, a gear system here. A shaft, your pedals, your propeller. This is actually a model airplane propeller. <laughs> for four so, months, that is going to be your lifeline. <laughs> I mean, this is it. If this thing, if we lose this, then we're just a floating cork in the ocean. <laughs> uh, well, at least you will be well supplied. Now, this really did interest me. Both of you are vegans. You're a raw vegan. Raw. How do you survive for four months out in the ocean? I'm thinking to myself, how do you get the calorie load in there? And you've also brought us a couple of examples there. Well, I mean, uh, I've been vegan. Uh, seven years I've been raw vegan for two years all the previous adventures I've done have been I never had a problem and the only thing we had to think about here is uh, the time out of when your food deteriorates okay, you know whereas, that's the problem with the fresher yeah exactly so uh, we've we got like dehydrated fruit so there's dehydrated p uh, pineapple banana apples I mean that's delicious food we've got nuts and then we've got uh, sprouting seeds so we'll be growing sprouts out at sea with fresh water and then uh, we'll take some snacks like kale chips and date bars which are all raw all vegan uh, to be honest i think we're going to be eating very well out you're, there. you're going to be well looked after and of course all for a very very good cause the extinction six um, and i'd love to hear more about that but how can people connect with you to speak to you directly about what you guys are trying to achieve with this journey um, well, I think the best is just to go onto my website, which is davyduplessis.com, and there you'll have a link to my mom and I also where there is a live map that tracks us through the ocean. Brilliant. We can also communicate through that.
doing something very special for a very special cause, guys. All the best of luck. I'm glad you're in it together. Now that I've met you, I think she's going to be an incredible support structure. You can keep them in line, but all the best of luck. We will be right there with you, following you online, and I think and in spirit as well. Well done, guys. Thank Thanks you. So awesome much. stuff. Well, Thank still you. lots coming up this morning. Ladies, what is next?